Welcome to Bradford and Brooks with your host, Margie Bradford and Jim Brooks, live on WBRT here in downtown Bardstown. The show is sponsored by Springview Hospital in Lebanon. Thank you for listening to 97.1 FM, 1320 AM, and 94.9 FM in Lebanon. Bradford and Brooks, a civil discourse of discussion where community involvement is encouraged. Bradford and Brooks is on. All right, good morning, Bardstown and Nelson County, and welcome to another edition of Bradford and Brooks. Jim Brooks and Margie Bradford with you on this rather chilly but uh, uh, sunny uh, Wednesday morning. Good morning, Margie. Morning, Jim. Well, it's a little frost on the pumpkin out there if we I, had pumpkins. I, I would say so. <laughs> I, I'd say, yeah, it's pretty pretty cool this morning well the uh, when the temperature gets down uh, below freezing for very much time at all uh, that's when i start wearing my jacket it's like mm -hmm. it's jacket weather certainly so <laughs> and uh, long johns <laughs> long johns long johns well i'm kind of no i i just uh, just uh, bear well you know i have fleecy uh, fleecy <laughs> jackets that uh, keep me warm anyway uh, uh well uh, uh Hope everybody's having a great Wednesday morning, and uh, Margie and I will be with you for the next hour. And we have a very special studio guest with us today, uh, Jerry Janes. Uh, Jerry Janes, of course, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Jerry, is a realtor. Uh, he's a former city councilman, and uh, Jerry's been involved in the community uh, in for many years in many different ways. And um, and Jerry, how are you doing this morning? I'm fine. I'm fine, Jim. Thank you, Margie. Greetings to both. Well, it's great to have you with us today. Uh, now, uh, you approached me some time back about uh, an idea that you and some others have um, about a, uh, um, a veterans memorial here in in, in Bardstown, and and we have, uh, you know, we've got uh, some uh, some memorials like on the courthouse lawn and things like that. But this would be something. Uh, something kind of upscale and something different i think yes. uh, can you tell our listeners a little bit about the idea and where it came from first of all I thank you all for allowing us to present to you our, mm -hmm. our proposal for uh, bardstown nelson county veterans park mm -hmm. uh, and yes we we have quite a few uh, quite a lot of information pertaining to that and, and we are we have an executive committee and and we are moving forward um, and our executive committee uh, members consist of about 14 uh, people and most of them are a lot of them are veterans uh, we have six colonels two generals and a few grunts like myself uh, <laughs> you know and so forth but we have a good representation of all branches of service and also in in Barstown Nelson County in the community as a whole mm -hmm. so we have good representation there um, we have had uh, three meetings we meet the first Sunday of uh, every month uh, at the American Legion Post on uh, Broadway, uh, mm -hmm. one, American Legion Post 121, and we have uh, we have set up a, a articles of incorporation. Uh, we also have uh, uh, set up a 501c3 for donation contributions that we mm -hmm. do with Internal Revenue Service. Mm -hmm. That is completed. Uh, we have opened a bank account in one of the local banks here at Wilsonmere Bank and Trust Company. So we we are in. Motion and uh, our biggest problem right now is finding a location suitable to fit our need. Right, uh, right. As to what we want to do. <clears throat> um, at this point, our first location was was the Third and Broadway location, which is a very nice lot. Um, at first, we thought we could just possibly use a third of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's something like 39,000 square feet there. It's just a little less than an acre, you know. We could, right, right. We could, you know, uh, maybe we could take a third of that and go to the back corner there and set up what we wanted to do and so forth. And, right. Um, but then after we looked at it and got into more design, and we have also entered into a con con contractual agreement with uh, CMW Engineering mm -hmm. Park Design out of uh, Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, Brad Boez is their representative and a principal, and he is doing our work for us, and he has done some design for us, which we're very pleased with. He also did the design work for the, I don't know if you've had the opportunity, or I'm sure a lot of people in the 
city and county have the park at over oh, Hardin County. Um, it's mm -hmm. a veterans park over there. It's very very nice, mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's large. It's we our concept is nowhere near as big as that. Right. Uh, but it's very nice, and then they have a short wall, a Vietnam wall, on one corner of it too. So, mm. but anyway, this gentleman, uh, this engineer, did that park, and he's done many throughout the state of Kentucky. We mm. liked his work, and um, uh, so anyway, we have entered into a contractual agreement with him, and we're in the process of moving forward. So, our biggest problem again at this point is finding a location. Um, well, it seems like the uh, that that lot up there, other than when uh, the mayor's park that I think Dixie Mayor Dixie Hibbs uh, uh, installed, that lot has remained empty for uh, well since the city acquired it uh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. For I think what was it, three hundred and fifty or three seventy five. There could have been a trade a lot land trade there too, also, but three seventy five. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. what the PVA records reflect. Right, yeah. right, and I've heard lots of things. I, when it right after it was acquired, there was some discussion about part of it could be uh, downtown parking and and uh, you know some other park area. But there's been lots of lots of discussions. But I think uh, um, in your discussions, you've uh, found that uh, there, there that some plans have been that there's a committee actually that's been working on what to do with that. Yes, you know, originally when we, we started into this, and, and, and I'm talking about the, our committee, um, we talked to the mayor, mm -hmm. and we also talked to the city council. And uh, at the time, the mayor conveyed to me that uh, there he, there he thought there was a committee, uh, and Joe Buckman, Councilman Joe Buckman, was uh, uh, chairman of that committee, them working on some type of design for that area. Mm -hmm. But it was in its very, very early stages. Right. So. Well, I, I proceeded to talk to the rest of the councilmen, too. Um, over half of the council people wasn't even aware that they really had a committee. The, the word I got from them, as you just said, was there was conversations about a parking lot, and that was not acceptable to anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I say that, I mean the city council people right. and the mayors for the use of the city <coughs> parking lot. So, right. so anyway, we pursued that lot. Uh, aggressively I guess so we talked to all the city council people and um, I got a good response um, and so forth and on and uh, and I got good response as far as what we wanted to do as far as a veterans park here locally mm -hmm. um, I did not get the good response that, uh, that I wanted from the use of that lot mm -hmm. so um, anyway we asked the mayor if we could bring our proposal to the city council and he declined to you know, he declined our request to do that mm -hmm. so he did call me back the next day and said can you meet with me and I can meet with you and Bubba who is the co-chair of Bubba Woods of our committee and I said sure and we did and he graciously offered us the lot in front of the fire department uh, which at that time we thought was unacceptable. Um, now, is that the new fire department on 245? That's the old or the fire department. Okay, on 5th Street. 5th Street. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. 5th Street. So he, <coughs> he offered that. Yeah. And then he also offered in our conversation the possibility if and when they ever built um, a new YCMA, y, YMCA facility type situation yeah. there on city lots, mm -hmm. the swimming pool, that there might be a lot vacant back there that we could use. Well, that really was off the beaten path, and that, that was not of interest to us, to be honest with you. So, we did look around. Um, we there was a, there's a lot over on uh, South Third Street that's where the old telephone office is right. belongs to the county. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also looked at the Justice Center out there. Mm -hmm. There is the entrance there. Right. There's a nice size lot there. There is adequate parking and so forth. But again, we felt it was out of place it was out of the way and we were interested in uh, tourists and people walking downtown to where they'd had the availability of uh, people that were walking uh, to where they could visit that park and see it and the, and the exposure so it, right. it looks like that there, looks like the fifth street one would be an ideal one wouldn't it well you know we had some water issues there at times when we yes. had hard rain and floods in that <laughs> corner yeah. there mm -hmm. uh, yeah and you know I, I I feel probably we probably will take another look at that, um, and you know we 
we don't have too many options because mm -hmm. there just isn't much available as far as vacant mm -hmm. property is concerned. All right, so, right. Anyway, um, so we followed up with the mayor, and he did. Uh, we did go before his downtown committee, which consisted of the mayor and uh, Councilman Joe Buckman's chair, and also Betty Kelly Hart, mm -hmm. and then also. Uh, there were a couple of other committee members there. Uh, Reginald Mudd, I think, was one, and uh, there was a lady from the, the um, young lady from the, uh, um, I guess, the tourist commission office there. But uh, I'm not sure what all the representation was. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we met with them, and um, we expressed what we kind of wanted to do in in our proposal, and showed them our design, mm -hmm. and then they showed us their design. Um, and I think it was uh, Rick Hill design, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, uh, it, uh, is this a design for a, for a service park, for, a yes. serviceman's park? No. no. No, it's a park that they Just want. a park. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, Just no, it's not. And I, in, their, you know, in our, their park, they had, they had two bathroom facilities and I think um, um, some, a lot of uh, growth and foliage and so forth, and then they were looking at putting playground equipment on one side of it there, I think, musical playground equipment and so mm -hmm. forth. So, and I, I, it's probably subject to change, but that's what it appeared to us and what was given to us to, mm -hmm. to view, and, and that's what, so we, after we saw that, and, um, and I will say that things kind of picked up after they found out we were interested in that lot also, uh, they got moving a little faster, I mm -hmm. think, but but anyway, being fair about it, um, we we also offered a joint venture. You know, we would do this mm -hmm. part of it in consolidation, or you know, use your concept because that we wanted the park concept, mm -hmm. but also the military to where people could come sit, read the newspaper. You know, um, there's a lot of history here as far as military is concerned. Right. You know, we conveyed to them that you know, large towns. Uh, most beautiful small town in America, um, bourbon capital of the world, and we also have a lot of um, military history here that a lot of people don't know anything about. Right, right. And in our plan and design, we had that set up to where we would have uh, where school teachers or children could come up there in that park and they could have classes. And, you know, as far as uh, the contribution of World War One, World War Two, the Korean War, Vietnam War. And Af uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and so mm -hmm. forth and on, uh, we made a pretty strong contribution there yeah. militarily, and there's a lot of history there. Right. You look at Hal Moore and the Hal Moore Museum mm -hmm. there, uh, and so forth and on. So we felt that this we could put this together mm -hmm. and make this work. <clears throat> and uh, I, I think they have a different opinion. I, I think uh, that you know they just uh, they they, they want to do their own concept there park concept so uh, that's where we are today so, so you're the, the the park uh wouldn't be just more names on granite it would it would be and it, it, this sounds like a, a a larger uh concept um and and what what was the impetus what uh, what what got you all uh thinking about uh doing something additional here in the in the city well you know <coughs> part of it is that some of us that were looking around in other communities and most a lot of other communities had veterans parks mm -hmm. and we didn't mm -hmm. now when I say that we've got one on East Broadway there which right is a very small park yes um, and at the time it, it served its purpose and so forth but I, I really think we've outgrown it uh, it's not adequate parking, you know, it sits on kind of a hillside and so forth and on. And uh, we we just felt the need to upgrade and we wanted to incorporate that park into the new one. Mm -hmm. And also we have monuments to Court Square right. and we talked to the county judge and some other folks too as to possibly moving those. Mm. And we would have been, gladly remove them and incorporate them into a new location. Or if, if the consensus of opinion is that they do not want to relocate them, then we would not, you know. But and we could still, but we still were going to build a uh, have a new uh, concept. I mean, a new uh, monument uh, mm -hmm. uh, to to add to that. So, well, there's there's no shortage of history in Nelson County in dealing with the military service. Um, after my father passed away, 
uh, I found shoe boxes of letters he received when he was stationed at Selma, Alabama during World War II. Oh. Letters from my grandmother and his brothers yeah. and his gr many girlfriends, apparently, he had before, <laughs> before he met mother. But, uh, but uh, he uh, apparently, he used to, uh, uh, he would come, when he would come home, he would, he would mail his clean clothes all back and he would fill his uh, suitcases with bourbon. <laughs> because he couldn't, he couldn't get good bourbon in uh, Alabama, <laughs> so he would wrap all the bottles in in his socks, and then, uh, then uh, so they wouldn't clink too loudly. So he'd go back on the train without a, without any clothes except what he was wearing. But but uh, those letters were fascinating. It was like just walking back in time, and uh, it. And then uh, hearing reports from um, my grandmother talking about other people in town, their, their sons and what they're doing. And, you know, they're in the Pacific or, or whatever. But there's just a tremendous history. And I think that, uh, uh, I know my generation probably doesn't, but I think those who have served don't understand how, how that changes you and how it really affects the community, too, during, you know, uh, during your years of service as well, and uh, and and that um, you know I think there's a there's a, there's a need for something additional in the county to uh, I, I think it's a great idea. Well, so do we, and uh, <coughs> we have a timetable. Uh, we want to have this completed by the next Veterans Day and in use for that day. Mm -hmm. Now we know that's a tall order to meet, but. Uh, as I say, we have some very good people on our executive committee, and, um, and it's not out of the question. I think we could we could get it done, um, but we've got to find the location that works. And uh, we just thought that Third and Broadway location was was the best. It was an entrance into town, and you know we were going to um, landscape it, and we were going to uh, some of the bricks and scrap bricks that's in the in the old park on the, uh, East Broadway. Mm -hmm. We were going to move those and incorporate those into that same situation and, uh, and then there'd be flags there to represent all branches of the services uh, along with a few other things. So mm -hmm. we had a nice design and, uh, and you say I have a copy there that you just mm -hmm. looked at there and uh, we thought it looked good and it, it, it was it's very well viewed from all angles mm -hmm. and sides of the streets and so forth and on. Right. And it, and it it would be a park to where all, it would be a community park, not only a military veterans park, but right. a community park to where all people could use it as educational and military history also. So, um, um, how, how do you propose to, to pay for this? I mean, I know you, an architect is not cheap, and, uh, no, and, they're not. They're uh, and uh, <laughs> materials are not, and uh, Labor is not, so how, how do you propose to uh, pay for it, and what do you think it's going to cost? Through private donations mm -hmm. and, and, and also grants, and mm -hmm. we do have a grant writer, and, and we're in the process of mm -hmm. uh, getting all that started and underway. Um, and I think uh, from the feel that we've got from some of our other people uh, and involvement in the community, we, we've had a good response. So uh, that's that's how we, uh, grants and, and mm -hmm. private donations is mm -hmm. how we feel like we're going to fund it we don't mm -hmm. think we'll have any problems mm -hmm. so well jerry do you all have a facebook page or anything set up well, yet i'm glad you asked that question jim uh bubba woods who's my co-chair of this committee and he's uh that's kind of his area of oh, work, okay. technology and yes he has that and we are about to get that underway and get that started excellent and also one thing I didn't mention there, you know, on our proposal, on our park, uh, we would have seating capacity up there for about um, 70 people there, and then we'd have a 900 square, square foot area there. If you wanted to have musicals there, such as a classical music type presentation or something there, you could do, uh, you could do there. In, um, 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 so what was the other question you asked me, Jim, there? Uh, um, well... <laughs> We're talking about the, the, <coughs> the park there and what, what we could use it for. Oh, what I was going to say is the, the Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. And Bubba um, has um, resources that we could put a Wi-Fi situation in there, and we've talked to this to our talked about this story so that in is so if anybody came and wanted to sit there and use Wi-Fi, they could absolutely. And also, if a teacher wanted to bring a class up there, yeah, then they take their phone. And set it up 
and they could get all the military history that's there hmm. through that process. So we've included that in this. Uh, mm. that, that's intriguing. It is. It's very much so. I mean, we, we're, you, we're looking at an educational uh, right. type situation here in a community park that's useful for all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not just a few. All right. Them. Yeah. You know, so. Well, um, the um, what are the chances you think of the uh, uh, of changing some minds as far as the use of the the the, the property there at uh, uh, Broad Third and Broadway? Well, you know, uh, Jim, you asked that question, and I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I don't mind speaking my mind at times. You know, as you well know, uh, <laughs> I just think. Uh, I don't think it's it should be at the sole discretion of the mayor, and Councilman Joe Buckman, and Councilman Betty Kelly Hart, and maybe one or two people in the Tourist Commission as to the use of that park, that property when it was purchased and mm -hmm. bought with taxpayers' money. Right. I think there should be more input as to the use of that area. Hmm. Uh, so, I guess in essence, what I'm saying is that. We would like community input, and I think they'll tell us what they want. That's not a bad idea. Well, I just I mean, think that's a fair situation. Sure. I just think across the board that's a fair situation. And again, I say I don't think it's a sole discretion of what I just said. It should be left totally to them. Yeah. Well, your proposal, you said, would only use half of that lot. No, we, we would now, we would incorporate the whole lot. Uh, okay. And and part of that reasoning is so we could trying to win over the city as a joint venture possibly is we added that thirty by fifty pavilion there mm -hmm. because we noticed that they had something in their design to that effect. You know, so to joint venture type situation mm -hmm. and to to be compatible and workable. That's well, that, the reason that, why we yeah. added that. Right. Uh, that was not in the original. Plans, but that's why we added that. I mean, you you could do that. could do small occasions there. Yes, you sure for, could. For not when you're having a hundred people, but yeah, but you could, you know. It, yeah. I'll assure you, it would be used. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. and 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 it would be a community use. Right. <clears throat> well, and it uh, well, the uh, the other proposal, um, I don't know. Is it it seems more geared towards. Uh, I don't know. People visiting, perhaps, is would you? Is that a fair statement? You think, or don't you think most of our tourists are walking people, walking around town? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why we mm. we think that that is a very good place, location for. Yeah, it's true. You know, uh, I mean, most of those people are older people, but there isn't any reason why we can't incorporate more youth mm -hmm. involvement in that situation. And again, as far as an educational purpose, and that's what I would say, the schools, you know, you got schools here within two or three blocks. You right. Bar Sound City School, you got Foster Heights. You got St. Joe. It's a doable, mm -hmm. St. Joe, Bethany. Yeah. It's a very doable situation. And uh, I think it could be used to, on a broad spectrum there. Well, and I think the availability of having, you know, kind of uh, the history telling itself you know having yes. that that that's fascinating and i think that's the wave of the future anyway but it it makes it much more of an interactive experience rather than just benches and granite mm -hmm. right you know it, right. it becomes so much more right so, have you have you approached any of the schools about this at all um uh, seeking their approval uh, not approval necessarily but i mean their input and as to how that would work and the interest that they would have in it. I would think that would have a, a, a great deal of influence. Yeah, thank you for that question, Margie. Yes, and we have discussed that, and we're in the process of doing that. We're, we're going to have side committees on our executive committee that's going to be, we'll take certain areas such as mm -hmm. the technology and so forth, mm -hmm. on landscape, and schools, educational mm -hmm. to contact that and so forth. And, you know, to be honest with you, my wife, is a retired school teacher she's all over it and she mm -hmm. says she's she brought that same idea and I'm glad you brought it up because I, I had forgotten uh, she brought that idea up to me and this is what we need to do we need to talk to these schools and incorporate this with with them and you know uh, talk to them uh, 
so forth. Well, yes. a little discussion with Dixie Hibbs wouldn't hurt either. <coughs> I mean, she's a she's a pioneer in this area. Yes, she is. Yeah, I agree, hundred <laughs> percent. We, we we don't worry. We're going to use all of our resources. Mm -hmm. We've we've uh, we've got a pretty strong committee, you know, mm -hmm. and. and uh, well, I was guys. kind of fascinated. You're talking about all the uh, all of the officers who are in yeah. your. So yeah. they're all from here in Nelson County. Um, just about all of them mm -hmm. are. Some of them have come in and mm -hmm. made their mm -hmm. residence here. Right. But they're all very much interested. Well, in I mean, if they yeah. live here, they're in Nelson yeah. County. Yeah, they're in Nelson County. They I are. mean, you you don't have to be born here. No, that's exactly. I keep telling everybody that, but you don't have to be born here. Yes, they're all Nelson County people. Yeah, uh, that's who that's who we have on our committee, and you know, there's some there's some bright guys on there. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some. Uh, we have one guy on there that was in. The only guy he answered to was McChrystal at Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan. Mm. Wow. So, I'm mm. telling you, you know, he was, uh, so, and we've got some others, too, that was involved in sitcom, mm -hmm. Bird Colonel, and so mm -hmm. forth and on. And uh, so, we, yeah, we have some good people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're we're serious about what we want to do. It's just a question of where we're going to do it. Right. Uh, we're going to do it. It's just where. Where. So. All right. Well, uh, uh, we need to pause and get some commercials in. Uh, you're listening to Bradford and Brooks and our very special guest, uh, Jerry Janes. And uh, we will be back after, after these messages. So please stay tuned. All right, you're back with Bradford and Brooks, Jim Brooks and Margie Bradford, and our very special studio guest today, uh, Jerry Janes. And uh, you may know Jerry as the... Uh, as a uh, longtime uh, realtor here in Bardstown, Nelson County, but Jerry has also been with us today to talk about a uh, uh, plans for a, a Veterans Memorial Park in Bardstown, and uh, um, that uh, I, t I tell you, the, Jerry, the way you describe it, you might go tell our listeners again about the, the plans, but uh, it uh, s certainly sounds like it would be a tremendous asset. Uh, to uh, not just the community, but even to visitors, to to tell us tell about the, our the story of our our uh, people who have been in the military and our contributions throughout throughout the the country's history in military service. Um, you're exactly right, Jim. And and you know we have uh, one of the highest per capita losses in Vietnam, as most as, as some people know, but a lot of people do not know, and a lot of young people do not know mm -hmm. that. We also, as a whole, in World War One, World War Two, the Korea conflict, Afghanistan, Iraq, we've made a pretty healthy comp contribution there too, as far as lives in service. Mm -hmm. You know, so, mm -hmm. and this park is is to represent all veterans, you know, um, in, in all branches of the service and their contribution that they made to the to the uh, community and the military. So, um, but you know, there's all, we have a vision and a mission statement that we have and I'd just like to uh, convey a few words of that to you share a few words okay. of that with you if, if that's okay as sure. to what what we our purpose of establishing a Barstown Nelson County Veterans Committee is and it is to um, establish a formal community gathering place to recognize service of all uh, county veterans past and present and consolidate current memorials throughout the downtown area if that's what the people want mm -hmm develop a park for the community, and again I use the word broadly, community, sponsored by local veterans to showcase their commitment to the community beyond service to the community. Encourage appreciation and a sense of military history in our community focused on the sacrifice, sacrifices made by Bardstown Nelson County veterans. Enrich the history and education, and this is very important to us, and I'll say it again, enrich the history and education of the children in our community and provide opportunities for schools to use the park for educational purposes using online digital technology, Wi-Fi, and we talked about a few other things there that we were going to do and incorporate in that mm -hmm. uh, earlier. So, uh, And the Veterans Park supports community-sponsored events in a prominent location, easily accessible to all market and promote the park to increase outreach to the hospitality and tourist tourism industry so we've taken a broad approach here in covering all areas and aspects and spectrum mm -hmm. of the community 
and offering what we want to do. Um, so I think that says a whole lot about what we're about and what we want to do. And we would hope that we would get a little bit more um, interest from the city uh, in that area. Well, well we, uh, go ahead, Marcia. No, I'm just uh, going to say uh, I think this, that there should be some considerable uh, community interest in it. So uh, have you thought of setting up uh, uh, <coughs> events where you could talk about this with people and seek support? Yes, that's why I'm here today. <laughs> We, we have, we have a committee and we have set up, and, and again, you know, I, I, as earlier I said we went to this, we requested from the city council, uh, mayor and city council that we go before them and, you know, and we, we were denied that request. We also asked the fiscal court and the judge and we were uh, gladly uh, uh, approved with open arms and there's a lot of interest there with, with some of the fiscal court members mm -hmm. to help us and support us in that area. Right. Um, and also, there are civics organizations and clubs that we're going to visit. Um, and Margie, as you said earlier, schools, absolutely, we sure are. Right. So yes, we're going to get it out. Um, part, of the, part of the reason why we have not proceeded with that is because we waited on the city and the mayor to, he said he did not want this out open yet, so we took the high road. He didn't want it to, you know, uh, out in front of the public at this point when our first conversation so we took the high road and said okay we'll we'll walk the walk with you and it hasn't taken us anywhere so um, so it, now it all changes mm -hmm. so we're going out to you know we're going to be more open to the public as to what we're doing and what we're all about and it starts today that's why I'm here and it'll be in a Kentucky standard Mm -hmm. And it'll be in all the civic clubs and organizations around town. So yes, mm -hmm. to answer your question, or Margie, we we have a, a timetable and uh, in a format mm -hmm. to do that, and we're going to. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jerry, this is, you know, this uh, this whole project sounds like very cutting edge technology, and and uh, that that there's nothing like that in in Nelson County. And I don't know how far you would drive to find another. Uh, Veterans Park that could e equal the uh, the vision that you have for, for this one. Well, you know, we've looked around and when we talked about, uh, back to Margie's question and statement there earlier about education and uh, so forth, and we talked about the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and being able to uh, use your cell phone or teacher or instructor use a cell phone that you will not see that anywhere else. Hmm. But uh, Bubba Woods, who's our co-chair of this committee, um, we've talked about this and discussed it, and he has the resources and the technology uh, reach for us to do that. Um, you know, now it's going to cost us a little bit more money mm -hmm. while we're into this project, but I'll assure you one thing. Our design and what we've decided to do is nowhere near the cost as what I think their proposal is, use for, the, for that lot. So, but yes, um, we... We're high tech here, and it's not because I had to get somebody that knew something about that because I certainly don't. But he right. does, and he has the resources mm -hmm. for to to obtain that. Well, that's it's that's fa fascinating, and I think uh, uh, a much needed uh, section of our of our history that we need to be telling. It is. It really is. Uh, a, a lot of our you know our people are dying off. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's there is a lot of history there. Um, you talked earlier about your dad and his service. Mm -hmm. My dad was in uh, World War II in Pearl Harbor, Guadalcanal, Saipan. Mm -hmm. Your uncle, mm -hmm. highly decorated, yeah, uh, had was uh, charged with one of the first hits on s sinking one of the Japanese ships. Right. Uh, so uh, people don't know that a lot of history there and so mm -hmm. forth. The name of that ship, the whole you know the whole. Um, story so right. there's there's a lot to know well you do, you don't have the uh, the uh, involvement of, of as many people in the military now because it's an all-voluntary um, army and Navy and uh, all of those services uh, so you don't have the broad uh, interest uh, of a lot of people now because of that so it, 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 this is a way of bringing that home of what 
was what has happened in the past and what people have done to yes to, yeah. uh, serve our country. You're exactly right. And uh, Bub and I had a conversation about that. Uh, we were talking about because he's been involved in rec recruitment. He's a right. lieutenant colonel retired from the army, and uh, so he was saying that you know yeah we there's a lot of things we have to do to to mm -hmm. to get people on board with us and so forth but exactly what you're saying Marjorie there's there's not that much anymore so it tends to be a forgotten agenda mm -hmm. you know so uh, this we kind of and we kind of uh, tend to forget our veterans well yeah sometimes I think we do mm -hmm. yeah um, I think we do so but the uh, um, you know, I, it, it's amazing to me, of course, I, uh, just from my younger days at Jerry, you know, I hear stories about the last living World War II veteran in such and such community. Well, I can't imagine, to me, that, that kind of boggles my mind because, you know, I grew up in Maple Hill and almost everybody's father was a, uh, you know, had some role in World War II. Yeah. You know, it was full of, um, uh, you know, wartime uh, uh, post uh, veterans and, uh, and their new families, you know, who married and settled down after the war. Yeah. And uh, it just boggles my mind that, uh, and now when I worked for the newspaper in Oldham, in a great uh, Hardin County, we, uh, I remember we ran a story on the last living World War uh, One veteran mm -hmm. in the community, but uh, I don't know. It uh, everybody seemed to be, was involved. World War Two was so encompassing. Everybody was involved, whether you were right. doing a scrap drive. I remember oh, my absolutely. grandmother's letters talking about, you know, that uh, she bartered eggs for butter and mm. and some other things because she had plenty of chickens, but she didn't mm. didn't have a cow to make butter. Uh, and, and, but but it affected daily life in such a way that I don't think we understand no. now. No, and, and they, they would go around collecting any sort of, uh, you know, metal. Scrap metal, right. Scrap metal. I mean, that was a patriotic thing to do. And and the victory gardens. You had right. to, uh, hmm. everyone had a victory garden. Hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, and Jerry, uh, my uh, grandfather's uh, house up in Henrytown, uh, I always wondered how that metal fence survived those scrap metal drives, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, figured, yeah. I figured with four sons yes. in the military. Yeah. That would have been gone long ago. Been gone, but. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but just to follow up on what you were saying there, you're exactly right. I think in World War II, not counting the, the men that, that served and right. came home, but I think there's 26 or 27 names inscribed in that stone, in that monument there at Court Square. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we Of had, those who died in service. Yes, in World War II. Yes. And in mm -hmm. World War One. there's also numbers, name, uh, I think I forget what the number exactly there was. So as a whole across the board, uh, we've paid, this county and city has paid a pretty good, paid a, a large contribution well, uh, to well, military yes. service. And, and, and those who died in uh, Vietnam from mm -hmm. yes. here in Nelson County right. was yeah, we had, a great uh, tragedy. Do we have 20? Uh, where is that? Uh, well, we had five that were from here, and then we had, but we had uh, far more than that. In 1969, I think we had, was it 16 or 17? Mm. I don't have my brochure here. I can tell you exactly. Um, but, but, but in essence, to say what, you, what we're talking about here, yeah, we've made a major contribution. Yeah. There's no question about that. Well, I think the, the, the contributions for those uh, who paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, and even th and those who came home deserves to be uh, remembered and, and honored. And I think uh, uh, a park like this sounds like, uh, especially with this educational component, right. sounds ideal, you know, that, that would meet, meet so many needs that aren't being, you know, it's, it's more than names on a granite slab, you know, much more than that. And yeah. I, I, I just am really intrigued with the idea with the, involving the schools like that because uh, history just isn't taught as much as it used to be because it's not no. one of the things that you get tested on, and so uh, that's that's what schools concentrate on what they have to what they're going to be tested on and uh, uh, history it doesn't take up a large part of that. Well, you're you're exactly right. Um, and, you know, for instance, here we had uh, three, six, nine, there's ten here, 
And that was in 1969 in Nelson County, not counting the people we lost. And so we lost five, but then we had five more that were not Nelson Countyans that were part of our unit that, mm -hmm. that we lost right. there. You know, and so, so when you look at those total numbers, it's um, you know I remember sitting and having a conversation with a lady lieutenant colonel retired from the military. And she looked at a brochure that we were looking at, and this has been a little time ago, and she said, wow, I had no idea there was that. And this lady spent 25, 30 years in the, in the military, mm -hmm. retired lieutenant mm -hmm. colonel. And, uh, uh, but anyway, so yeah, the contribution is, 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 uh, is there, and, uh, and the history is there, and I like to use the word history, and we need to, Margie, I agree with you, we need a little more history talk. And, uh, yeah. and we want we want to incorporate and compensate with this, you know, in, in our uh, proposal. So, well, well, Jerry, we'll uh, um, we uh, we're videotaping today's show, and I'll have that on YouTube um, in a day or two, and um, and I'll have a, a story on the Nelson County Gazette okay. about it as well, okay, good. and uh, do whatever we can to support it because it's certainly a, a, a worthwhile effort. And you know, a lot of times, I, and I guess I I was just raised this way. A lot of times, I, I the back of my mind, I think, what would Brooksy say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, yeah, I remember. I remember your dad, <laughs> and, and he would be all out for this because, oh, yeah. uh, you know, he was uh, one of the parties responsible for getting the the flagpole up at the gazebo at the Barstown Cemetery. Yeah, sure, um, and then uh, uh, so yeah, anything to honor veterans, he would be all over. Yeah. So anyway, well, not only that, but then we want <clears throat> we we let's go back to education and history. Uh, we want to. Uh, incorporate all that together mm -hmm. and, and I think we should uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people are dying off and there's there's when I talk to younger people it's amazing to me what they don't know and not only that at my age as I tell Joy I said you know there's so much to know mm -hmm. right and there's so much I don't know you know right. and, and and the only way we can get that is through education and history mm -hmm. so exactly uh, but so that's where we are. So. All right, Jerry. We'll, we'll look for uh, look for you all on uh, Facebook when you yes when you're ready to launch yes. that. We we're going to be around. You're going right. to hear from us. So. All right. Well, that that sounds great. Yeah. Well, we we got about two minutes left. Any 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 last uh, comments you want to leave with our our listeners today, Jerry? Or, or how people can get in touch yeah. with you? Yeah. Yeah. You, that um, be... um, you could call me or text me either one at 502-507-3386. I have an office at 94 Court Square here in town at Court, Court Square. Uh, you can drop by there with any input. We we uh, are, would, would welcome any input or suggestions or ideas that anybody has mm -hmm. uh, and so forth and on. And, uh, and we will be soliciting uh, for donations and um, once we get everything, we've pretty much got everything in place to do that, and uh, Bubba's going to do some of that on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, and, and you all are uh, a five hundred one c three. Yes, we so are. any any uh, contributions are tax deductible. It's tax deductible. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Sure is. I just want to take the opportunity to thank uh, you, Jim and Margie. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the questions you ask, mm -hmm. and I do appreciate you allowing us to come here and be here today. And any help that you can give us. All right. All right. Uh, well, our pleasure, Jerry. Really, okay. it really is. Uh, Thank well, you very much. All right. Well, Margie, we're down to about the uh, the last uh, 45 seconds. Um, I was trying to think if we had a guest for next week, but I think we're still... No, we're, we're still working on plan A and B there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, certainly, though, one thing for sure, you and I will be back yes, at we these will. microphones next yes, we Wednesday uh, at 11 o'clock for another Bradford and Brooks. And uh, uh, I try to promote our guests on Facebook. So uh, uh, check out the Nelson County Gazette on uh, Facebook or WBRT, and uh, you can find out who's uh, who our guests will be. All right, well, that's going to do it for this uh, this week's Bradford and Brooks uh, Many thanks to our guest, Jerry Janes, for coming in today. Uh, it was a wealth of knowledge, and, uh, uh, and I you know, can't help but support this uh, project. All right, well, that's going to do it. Have a great week, everybody, and we will see you next Wednesday. Hometown Radio, WBRT.